What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Triple OG back again, different location. You know, life and shit, moving around, doing things. So, I'm in a new crib back in Illinois, out of the state of New Mexico, enjoying the uh, the beginning of winter. But I guess you probably didn't really come on here to, to hear about what's going on in my life. You came on to see some shoes. So, here it is. Got the box. Nothing in it. This is like an actual, actual unboxing. So, I'm gonna get into this real quick. Open it up. Yep. Yep. So, the collection just came out. There are three pairs that I wanted. I would have liked to have gotten the uh, the Vapor Maxes, the Twelves, and the Up Tempos. Just got one. Got the uh, got the Up Tempos. I got them on the sneakers app. I just did the uh, I did it the old fashioned way. I pushed the button and I checked out, and uh, and I got them. So there's that. That's a giant box, man. Uh, so here's the paperwork, receipt, all that stuff. Uh, the blue box, the baby blue box, freestyle on the top. You know, it's the Dornbacher collection. Just came out the other day, says it on the size, says it on the size, back in the size 12 as usual, doing that thing. So we get into it, you know I love the I love the look of the box, I love that baby blue box. Um, so here's the inside of it, you can see it there, you can see my life. I'll be putting that up later. The kid's name's Brody Miller, he's got some brain issues, wants to be a comic book creator. So this was this was his creation, this is what he did. I believe it was modeled off of a character he created called Generator Man, um, and I, I know it's in the I know it's in the bio. I'll get that up, like I said, for you guys to see. So we're just gonna check it out. Open it up on the inside. We got the picture there. You got the freestyle paper with the sticker on it. You know, it's a white paper. It's a white paper, and it says freestyle and a reflective silver. It's got the sticker up there at the top in the baby blue. It's it's little things. You know, that's the kind of thing. I'm a paper guy. I know a lot of you guys think it's weird that. That I'm a paper guy, but it's it's just what I feel like is a part of the overall package. The thing I hate about the sticker on the paper is it rips the paper. Does it really matter? Does it affect the shoe? Does it do anything like that? Absolutely not. However, I'm one of those people. I you know I try to keep my stuff pristine. You never know. I might be selling these. They might be going up on eBay right after I'm done with this video. It's hard saying what's going to happen. So bam, there they are. BPN, there it is. It's got his initials all over it. Brody Miller, we're going to be going through these and checking them out and seeing what's going on. You guys know how much I love the uptempos. So I was super stoked to get my hands on a pair of these. I've done custom uptempos, just picked up three or four different pairs of uptempos. They're, they're a shoe that I really like. I love to cut in them all day. You guys know I'm a barber. I'm on my feet, so I appreciate something with a whole bunch of air on the bottom of it. So getting into it, normally this is where it says air going up the side inside outside the bpm brody miller so changed to his changed to his initials you can see it now i was seeing a lot of places where they're saying that these were super dusty looking i don't feel like these look dusty at all i feel like it's a nice shoe maybe i should show you instead of holding it on my lap and, and talking about it it is a lighter blue it almost looks like a i think you can yeah you can see it a little bit better right there it's almost like a tumbled leather look the you can kind of see it a little bit in the light you can kind of see it a little bit in the light it actually gives off like a, a rainbow effect when the light hits it. I can see it in my eye. I don't know if you guys can really see it there. So you've got a you've got a light blue, a light blue sole, a dark blue midsole, which is supposed to glow in the dark. I'll be checking that out. If that works out, I, or if that works out, I'll be posting pictures up of it later. The upper, it's very nice. It's very soft. Um, it's not like a it's not like a regular leather that you would normally get on or pleather, depending on what pair it is. That you would get on a pair of up tempos it's got a nice smooth toe box with the generator man lightning bolt on there come around to the back you got the check mark it's red i like how they did these in two different colors that's kind of something i wouldn't mind seeing more often on on the up tempo pairs i dig it i know the atl pair is supposed to be coming out the chicago pair is out you could have went red and black you could go green and white you know it doesn't have to be just a wider or whatever it is the inside the sock liner it's a nice yellow we're gonna get it in. He's got the red and yellow and orange uh, shoelaces. The aglets on these are blue to go with the rest of the shoe. Cardboard, I love cardboard. Terrible. We see, I gotta check out both shoes. I really don't know a lot about these. I just kind of hopped on and grabbed them. On inside of the shoe on the insole, it says Brave. It's got uh, it's got like some, some grass or some trees growing up on the bottom there. I think you can see it. There's the bottom of the shoe. You can see it there. I really like how that looks. I like the I like the uh, see-through blue with the red air and the red mark there. It's it's nice. I'm 
trying to see make sure they didn't stick anything in the air bubble in the bottom. So you've got the, now this is, this is another uh, two color where right here for the lace holders. Normally that's all one color. Um, I even, even in my customs, I did them all one color. So I like that they're two colors. I like that he switched them up. You know, a lot of times it does come with a second pair of laces. It comes with a pair of blue laces. I think if it was for me, for my money, I'd go ahead and rock the multicolored laces. I dig those. I like the way that they look. It's a great shoe. Now see, I did not, I did not really see this when I was looking at it earlier. Get into the Air Max. You've got, you've got red to orange to yellow going up to the front. So there's a lot of small details in these. These kids, these kids when they get to do these shoes, they're fantastic. They go to the children's hospital. The money from the shoes goes to the children's hospital. Uh, it's a great cause. Like I, I love to get them just because you, you never know. Like I, apparently they let these kids just kind of have free reign on these shoes. So they're, they're always coming out with doing something interesting. They're, they're unusual colorways. There's unusual details to them. I love what they let the kids do. And I tell you guys time and time again, and I'll probably keep saying it. This is one of my favorite collections. It's, it's always fun. It's, a, it's for a good cause. I mean, what, what more could you ask for in shoes? You love shoes. I love shoes. That's why I'm on here doing it. That's why you're sitting here listening to me yak on and on about shoes, and it is what it is. So I don't know how much I'm going to be around. It's definitely not going to be like it was before. I'm going to be hitting some people up now that I'm back home. I'm going to hit up Donkey Punch. I'm going to hit up some friends of mine. We're going to show you some customs. I'm going to show you some early stuff. I'm trying to get my homie Mike to let me get on them Red 11s that come out in a couple weeks. He's got them in hand. Uh, I saw him briefly the other day. I'm going to see maybe, maybe he can get on here and holler at you guys and, and let you know what he thinks. He's one of the guys who, who I enjoy shoes with. He's, I try to be like him and he tries to be like me and, and we love Jordans and we love shoes and, and the Bulls and you know doing all that stuff. So shout out to Mikey P. Appreciate you. Love you. I really need to see those 11s in hand. Get them up on the camera. So I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to start calling on my friends. So the stuff you're going to see isn't necessarily going to be mine, but it's kind of floating around in the circle of people that I know. So if you're watching it, Mikey P, Quan, Donkey Punch, all you guys, like expect to hear from me. Expect to expect for me to ask you to come do something with me. Even even my friends when they just pick up stuff. I mean, we're going to see how it all goes. We're going to, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. Maybe this is going to turn into a group channel. Um, I have friends who think I'm absolutely ridiculous about shoes and they don't understand it. And I'm going to try and get him on, get them on here and, and talk about shoes too, just so you can get their opinion and see how dumb they think we all truly are. So anyway, that's all I've got to say about these. I got some video editing to do. The, the space has changed up. I'm going to try and figure out some stuff. So it looks, it looks a little better in the background instead of just this white wall, but you know, I'm just trying to throw this together and get some things done. These are the Dornbacher up tempos. You loved them. I loved them. It's a great shoe. Wish I'd have got the twelves and the vapor maxes. But like I said, for just pushing a button last minute, I can't complain about the pickup. I'm Triple OG Sneakerheads. Stay up.